like how crazy. long before we're a cashless society hopefully forever dude i hope i hope forever i hope we never like it is so scary to imagine the like losing the privacy losing it all completely because every transaction is in the public yeah. eye or observable that's really scary man i mean it's like i don't even do anything interesting with my money like except like the tip on the road like you know i use my card and i know that's the argument is that's traceable i, I realize that but it's scary because it, there's an option mm. if you want to just like blow some cash on something you can it, it, you could just like no one will know it's the whatever it is right not that i would ever use cash for anything other than legal purposes it's just like the you yeah. know what i mean like the like one day in the future everything will be traceable that's right and yeah. that's you know this is where i get this is where being raised an episcopalian in, in the book of revelations is gonna as a christian you're gonna read it this is where i get scared because it's too similar to the mark of the beast it's too similar to exactly what it says. You won't be able to trade. You won't be able to do anything unless you have the mark, unless you bear the mark. So what is that, that, that in that term in the, how is that described? How's the mark of the beast described in the Bible? Well, we should read it. Cause I think you're onto something. We're now officially podcasting. This is fucking it. We're opening up the book of revelations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're in now. Uh, yeah. The mark of the beast it's like you can't do anything you can't sell you can't if you don't take the mark you're fucked. i mean that's that's that like if you remove the ability to trade currency in a private way yeah you now can you you are now controlled you are now monitored that's mm -hmm. like or then i saw another beast rising out of the earth it had two horns like a lamb and it spoke like a dragon it exercises all the authority of the first beast in its presence and makes the earth and its inhabitants worship the first beast whose mortal wound was healed. It performs great signs, even making fire come down from the heaven to earth in front of people. And by the signs that it allowed to work in the presence of the beast, it deceives those who dwell on earth, telling them to make an image for the beast that was wounded by the sword and yet lived. And it was allowed to give breath to the image of the beast so that the image of the beast might even speak and Chad might GPT. cause those who would not worship the image of the beast to be slain. It also causes all, both small and great, both rich and poor, both free and slave, to be marked on the right hand or the forehead so that no one can buy or sell unless he has the mark that is the name of the beast or the number of its name this calls for wisdom let the one who has understanding calculate the number of the beast for it is the number of a man and his number is 666 you know what's so wild about what? that stuff reading that is it's really clear that they spoke differently 